morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of a vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben. Nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and often deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like acne and psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system it's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have a success story you'd like to share, if you want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our phone number today and every day on the bright side. If you have questions about skincare, skincare ingredients, if you've got question, questions about any of the longevity products or the longevity business, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products or sign up to join the bright side Ben team, love to have you on our team, 831 or 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. Is the phone number for the Brightside Ben phone team. You can also sign up and purchase Longevity products right off our websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and pharmacistben.com. And if you want to purchase any of our Truth Treatment products, Truth Skin Health products, you can head over to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Make sure you take a look at our Retinol 5% gel. All right, we're talking hyperpigmentation better known as dark spots, and we're talking about the relationship of dark spots on the skin to the internal milieu of the body, to internal chemistry, especially as it regards the stress response. Melanin is a pigment of stress in the sense that its electrical nature represents a way for the body to suck up electrical energy, to suck up excess electrical energy. Whether that excess electrical energy is on the skin or whether it's inside the body. Melanin and melanin production occurs everywhere in the body, inside and out. It's especially predominant in the brain and in the nervous system, which makes perfect sense considering its electrical nature. The brain and the nervous system are highly electrical. Melanin is highly electrical, so it makes sense that you would have neuromelanin, which you can see with your, with your eyes. If you look at the brain, if you, can, if you can peer at a brain, you'll see gray matter. Gray matter is melanin. It's melanin's black color that accounts for your brain's characteristic hue. Melanin is found in all of the organs of the body, and this is why melanoma, which is a melanin cancer that involves the cells that make melanin, melanocytes, this is why melanoma occurs in the body as well as outside the body, and this is why if anyone blames the sun or advises sunscreen or sun avoidance as melanoma protection, you can assume they don't understand biology or biochemistry, and that of course means your well-meaning physician, who very often is biochemically ignorant, unfortunately. Because the body is an electrical system, it's primarily an electrical system, nutrition and chemistry are important, but they're important because they work by facilitating electrical energy. Fundamentally, we are electrical. Fundamentally, health is electrical. If you're interested in learning more about this, get a book called Healing is Voltage. Super easy to understand, and it goes over the electrical nature of the body. He uh, healing, health, wellness, biology, how we move and think and have our being is electrical. 
and yes, vitamin C and vitamin E and minerals and, and all our micronutrients that we talk about on this program and macronutrients are important, but they're important because they facilitate the movement of electrical energy or in the case of protein and fats and carbohydrates, they provide electrical energy. So you got two kinds of nutrients. You got your macronutrients, protein, fat, and carbs. And your protein, fat, and carbs represent sources of electrical energy. And then you got your micronutrients, your vitamins and your minerals and trace substances. And the, these facilitate the movement or the use of the electrical energy. This is why junk food is so problematic. Junk food is food that's got lots of electrical energy from protein, fats, and carbohydrates, mostly from carbohydrates and fats which are super dense in electrical energy. You get the super dense electrical energy without the micronutrients that help you use the electrical energy. The body doesn't know what to do, so it tends to store it. It tends to stash it away for a rainy day, for when there's micronutrients. On the other hand, when you get lots of micronutrients, these facilitators, these substances that help the movement of electrical energy with your macronutrients, your body can use the protein, use the fat, use the carbs, thus the importance of whole foods, unprocessed foods, and thus the incredibly deleterious, negative, harmful effects of junk food, food that provides lots of electrical energy, but not the facilitators, not the micronutrients that facilitate the use of the electrical energy. The body is an electrical system. Chemistry and nutrition work because they help facilitate the movement of electrical energy. Now, when the body is processing electrical energy, it's typical that whenever, as you would have in a fire, you're going to have sparks. In a fire, you have little sparks of, of energy. And in the body, with all of the electrical movement, you're going to have sparks. Fortunately, there's anti-sparking chemicals. The body's fully equipped. It's got everything it needs. So yes, there's sparks when you have electrical energy, and you can have short circuits. But the body comes equipped with uh, dampening substances, substances that suck up these sparks, suck up these electrical uh, pieces, if you will. Guess what? That's what melanin is. Melanin, pigment, is an electron sink. That's the fa fancy way of saying it sucks up electrical energy. It mops up sparks. Melanin, all pigments really, melanin pigment included, are highly electrical. We've talked in the past about how researchers are studying melanin as a possible way to link electrical energy to biological energy, making melanin a sort of biological battery that can be used to power computer chips or even biocomputer chips, this transhumanist style. The energy sparks are a type of oxidation, and melanin is an antioxidant, which is not only important for the skin, which is exposed to the sun in photooxidation, potential photooxidation, or sun-induced sparking, sun-induced uh, oxidation. But this makes melanin also important for the nervous system, for the brain, and pretty much for the whole body. Melanin is black. Black is highly absorbent. That's why I tell you not to wear black t-shirts in the summertime, because black absorbs heat. Light, uh, white reflects ever. Right, white reflects light. Black absorbs light. The reason it appears black, the reason black looks black, is because all the light energy is sucked up and nothing is released. Black color is a type of black hole. It sucks up light energy, and this is why it functions as sun protection. Melanin protects the skin by sucking up light energy. It's like a photon police officer. It arrests photons. Melanin is jail for photons. And melanin is also capable of releasing the photons that have been trapped releasing light and releasing electricity. Melanin sucks up electricity and it can also release electricity. This is so cool. This is a biological substance that acts to suck up and trap electricity and then to release it when it's stimulated. That's what gives it its battery-like powers and its information processing capabilities. This is why melanin can be used as a photosensor and a photo detector for, for high tech. Melanin is capable of also trapping sound waves and sensing sound waves. It's in your ears. You have ear melanin. This is amazing stuff. Melanin is an electrical energy transmitter. It's found in the ears. It's found in the eyes. It's found in the skin. It's found in the brain. It's found in the organs of the body. Man. And then we're going we're, we're to actually poison the cells that make, uh, that make melanin because we can't figure out why we're making too much. Well, if you listen to this program or your dermatologist or doctor listens to this program, you'll know why you're making too much, and we'll talk about that when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back after this. We 
are back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're talking about, melanin, pigmentation issues, skin issues, or if you just want to comment, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, questions about the longevity products, of course, or the longevity business, or you may have heard or read something you want clarification on, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, head over to brightsideben.com or my blog, criticalhealthnews.com. Also, pharmacistben.com, which we update regularly with news stories as well as blog posts. Thank you to Robert Lundgren and Jaunty Collier, who set those up. Also, uh, if you want to search any of the programs, you can go to Ben Fuchs Archives, that benfuchsarchives.com. And thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that up. Okay, so we're talking melanin and pigmentation. Melanin is a stress hormone. The sun represents a major stressor. We need the sun, obviously. The sun provides warmth. The sun provides light. The sun provides vitamin D. It's a, a major component of vitamin, T, vitamin D metabolism. The sun is super duper important. It's antibacterial, antimicrobial. Feel better when we're out in the sun. We make more feel better hormones, specifically serotonin, when we get out in the sun. The sun's just good stuff. You don't want to overdo the sun. It's a stressor. That's why we have melanin. That's why we have pigment. Melanin is an anti-stress chemical. It sucks up excess stressors. Melanin is an electrical energy transmitter. It's found throughout the body, the ears, the eyes, the brain, all the organs of the body. It has an ability to turn. This is so cool. Melanin has the ability to turn light into electrical energy, into sound, and back again. It can convert photon energy into what's called phonon energy. Phonons are little pieces of sound, like photons are little pieces of light, and electrons are little pieces of electricity. It has an ability to convert sound into light into electricity. Melanin. This is amazing, amazing stuff. Via melanin, light and sound and matter become interconvertible. And through the mediating activity of melanin, light and matter and sound are essentially one and the same. And in this way, melanin is actually a deeply spiritual molecule. And a lot of people have written about this, the spiritual nature of melanin. Melanin converts light into sound, into, into electricity, and back again. We learn in the Bible, God is light, and the beginning of creation is sound. Melanin is, fits in there somewhere. Between electricity and sound and light, you've got three of the most important components of our spiritual natures and our biological natures, and melanin is right in the mix. Melanin's electrical mopping up ability, its dampening effect, makes it the quintessential anti-stress substance. And when we understand this, it becomes obvious why using drugs, especially hydroquinone, which is the go-to skin lightening substance, Using these things, once you understand how important melanin is, using these things to shut down melanin production and melanin making cells or to actually kill the cells that make melanin. That's one of the things that happens when you use hydroquinone for a long period of time. You end up killing the cells. When you understand how important melanin is, you can see how silly it is to try to kill melanin cells or to suppress its production pharmacologically. Melanin is our friend. Melanin is critically important in hyperpigmentation or hypermelanization. Too much melanin is not a disease as much as it's a response to stress. Melanin's relationship to the stress response is indicated by the link between hyperpigmentation and the adrenal glands, our stress glands. When our adrenal glands are hyperactive, we hyperpigment. If you're hyperpigmenting, first and foremost, consider you have an adrenal issue, not a sun issue, not a skin issue. And I know if you've been listening to this program, that comes as no surprise, but it will certainly come as a surprise to your neighbors or your friends who aren't listening to this program, probably even to your dermatologist. Ask your dermatologist if he recognizes that hyperpigmentation is an adrenal gland issue. Ask him if he recognizes the importance of melanin. Ask him if he recognizes the link between hyperadrenal activity and hyperpigmentation. The adrenal glands are ridiculously important. In fact, most, if not all, chronic long-term progressive health challenges involve the adrenal glands, our protector glands. 
Our adrenal glands are like having two six foot seven, 300 pound friends walk alongside you when you go into a bad neighborhood. 